Welcome back. I hope you're having a good day today. If you want to pull out your book, Life of Fred Apples, we're going to be on page 55, and that's chapter eight, and the title is called Swimming. Fred swam over to the north side of campus to look at the apple tree. No one needed to water that tree today, since it was still February, there were still no apples on that tree. Fred loved swimming. First, he swam in a big circle. Then he swam around in a big ellipse. Then in a square. As the clouds blew away, the sun became brighter and brighter. The temperature was going up. Zero degrees, five degrees, 10 degrees, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 degrees. This is called counting by fives. If you have to count to 100, it is a lot faster to count by fives than to count by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on. The water was going down. Two fish decided to swim over to the lake that is near the campus. If they waited until the flood was gone, then they would have to walk to the lake. Fish are not very good at walking. Fish can swim, but not walk. Fred can swim and walk but fish can do something that Fred can't do. They can breathe underwater. When Fred draws a picture of a fish, it is a silly picture. Noses are good when you are breathing air, but they're not good for breathing underwater. If you look at a globe of the world, you can see that most of the earth is covered with water. There are lots of oceans. There are no oceans that touch Kansas. But there are two oceans that touch the United States. Lots of fish live in the oceans, but none of them look like this. The two oceans that touch the United States are the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. Look! No noses. These all live in the ocean, but they do not all breathe water. A whale breathes air. A whale is not a fish. It comes to the surface, takes a breath of air, and then dives under the water to play. If someone asks you for the name of an animal that breathes air, but cannot walk, you could say a whale. You could also say that little babies can breathe air, but cannot walk. Of course, when I am napping, I am breathing, but I cannot walk. Okay guys, are you ready for your turn to play? Did you remember to grab a piece of paper and a pencil? You can press pause at any time. You ready? Number one, counting by fives, write down the numbers between 35 and 100. It starts 35, 40, 45, 50, all the way to 100. Number two, there were five fish in the lake near the campus. Two more fish came over and joined them. How many fish are now in the lake? Number three, there are zero whales in Kansas. How many ocean liners are in Kansas? Number four, which is true? A. Archimedes was a famous baseball player. B. Archimedes was a whale. Or C. Archimedes was a mathematician. Okay, here are the answers. Go ahead and check your work. Press pause if you need to.
It's fun to play the there are zero game. There are zero elephants in my cereal bowl. And there are zero palm trees in my hair. There are zero birthday cakes floating in my bathtub. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow so we can read chapter nine. Bye.